Hello, Wesley Church. We just finished a miraculous week of vacation Bible school. I'd encourage you to see and read about it in this edition, the August edition of the Wesley Witness. It's coming out this week. See uh, the pictures, hear the stories. And there's also other important information about the church there in that edition of the Wesley Witness. Make sure you get your hands on your copy this week. Today, I'd like to reflect briefly on a passage from the book of Proverbs and then share some details about an upcoming worship series. And then lastly, I'll talk a little bit about pastoral care and counseling here at Wesley Church. Debbie and I once took a 13 week stone carving class. I made a number of sculptures. This is one I've been working on and, and the top broke off. So it's sort of in process. But in that time, I discovered that I enjoyed carving stone. And I, I purchased a set of tools and I got some stone and I've continued the art from time to time. One thing that I quickly learned about the metal tools is that they do get dull. As you, as you use the tools on the stone, as you might expect, they get dull after a while. And in order to keep them current, I have to find the metal rasp and take some time to sharpen them, to take the, the iron against iron and, and make sure that the tool, if it's gonna do its job well, it has to be sharpened. The Proverbs writer uses a metaphor like this. Uh, a Proverbs writer says in chapter 27, as iron sharpens iron, so a person sharpens a friend. I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but God uses relationships as part of our faith life to sharpen us for mission and ministry. And that includes some friction. It includes taking off rough edges and dull edges. Relationships can take work, but working together with God, the relationships, the shoulder to shoulder work we do in service of Christ is part of forming our faith. In the worship series that begins this Sunday, we're gonna look at three relationships that the Apostle Paul had in his life, Ananias, Timothy, and Lydia. We'll see how these relationships grow his faith and the faith of his friends as they faithfully uh, follow God's call. Come worship with us for this three week series. Okay, let me offer some insight on pastoral care and counseling at Wesley Church. Maybe you've been wondering how to get pastoral care, how to get a pastoral visit for a relative or a friend who could really use some pastoral care. Perhaps you'd like to have a discussion on a particular spiritual challenge that you face or that is faced in your family to receive some pastoral guidance. Maybe you desire more in-depth counseling for some struggle you know, that you're facing or a family is facing. Let me offer you a few steps that you can take. First of all, if you know someone who would benefit from a visit, or you think they might like to receive home communion, please let me know. I'd be glad to follow up with them. Pastoral visits and church member visits are an essential part of ministry here at Wesley. If you or someone you know would like pastoral counseling and prayer, I'd sure be glad to meet with you and listen to your story and offer spiritual guidance to pray with you. We can seek the Lord's direction and guidance together at, at, with whatever you face. Now, if we're talking and, and then counseling, and I realize that the counseling need that you're facing is beyond my expertise, remember pastors are not trained in, in counseling and typical counseling. We're trained in theology and church, but here's the blessing we have. We have a professional Christian counselor right in our congregation. And I would refer you to that individual. And you could, it, at your choice, you could seek additional deep spiritual Christian counseling if needed. We're really well equipped in terms of pastoral care and counseling here at Wesley. And I encourage you not to be hesitant to take advantage of that gift of God at Wesley. Let me say this, 
there's no reason to go it alone when you have this Wesley family to help you. If you or someone you know might benefit, you know, it's worth a discussion, please call or email me. We'll set up a time to talk and just see where God will take you, will grow you, will encourage you, will build your faith. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching again. I hope to see you Sunday.